Hi CBC Music, uh, I'm Matt Halbowski and I'm here to show you how to uh, play with an open tuning. In this particular case uh, I'm playing in an open C, uh, so without the capo we'd be playing with uh, C, G, the strings would be C, G, C, G, C, E, which gives a full C in the open chord. And it's much easier to, to, to find interesting melodies using uh, an open tuning. Um, and you can get some different colors in chords that you might not get uh, from just a you know, regular uh, G or C chord without having to know your, your jazz theory, which is something I don't know. And the other thing I love about uh, the open tunings is uh, the, the, you can get really interesting fills um, if you find the right notes. In my case, <clears throat> not knowing much music theory, I just kind of pick them one by one until I, I find the right, you know, fill. So something like this. And Since I, I never learned any theory, I, I never I mean, I took guitar lessons for as long as I needed to learn how to play Seek and Destroy. And afterwards, I just kind of went out on my own with tabs and, uh, and just picking my ear in YouTube videos and so on. And, and uh, open tunings aren't, aren't that many players that, that uh, play in open tunings in, in modern music. My two favorite would be uh, Bon Iver and Ben Howard. So I, I just learned a lot of their songs and then you sort of figure out how to uh, pick up the chords. When I sit down and, and write uh, a fill, it'll be uh, something that I'll do really note for note, so which, which note sounds good. So. or whatever, you pick whatever you want. That, that's kind of the progression that I, that I enjoy. I thought that was cool. I, I love uh, including harmonics in, uh, in my playing whenever I can. And a harmonic is, uh, if you don't know how to do it, it's, 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 you kind of have to practice a lot to get it right, but essentially you want to go right in between uh, two frets. Put your finger, rather than putting your finger on the fret directly, you want to uh, put it lightly above the string, just barely touching it. Uh, in between the two frets, so right above the, the little metal bar there, and then pinch it. You got to find the right frets that will actually resonate because not all of them do. Some of them will just give you a dead sound. It's not much harder, but it looks a lot cooler. Let us know what you want to learn next. Like this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.